The European Dual System is the opportunity to establish a standardized European vocational training system. Three films illustrate the effects of the new system from the perspective of companies, schools and students in Italy, Spain and Germany. The school's perspective. Our students inside the companies during this traineeship will improve their skills, their practical skills and become an important support for the company too. So maybe at the end of their uh, of the period of the tra of traineeship they could work there. To start thinking about employment and job opportunities even before the end of high school. So in this way they don't have to wait to have the diploma and then start deciding what they want to do for the future. But just start before, to begin before, to see what is for them an opportunity, what they could do in the future. And that is very, very important, especially during you know, nowadays when we have a sort of economical crisis. Interesting system uh, for most of the students because the proof is that they get contracted uh, after, so and they they can learn um, they can learn uh, basic skills, but also behavioral skills at the company. Students get paid here, but we have uh, two different ways. We have contract or grant, and uh, in any case, it, it cannot be low, lower than 65% of the agreed in their professional salary. One of the most important points for the students is that uh, while he's studying, he can try the things he, he learned at the company and, and the other way back. It means that things that he sees that are needed in the companies, he can, he can ask for them at the school and he can focus on learning this. So he's, he knows for what he's been prepared. And they have the opportunity to know more about uh, industrial companies uh, and uh, the working market and uh, this is a great, great opportunity. Uh, may, there are, I don't see negative aspect. The only one is that the students must uh, be more concentrated and must uh, uh, study more hardly. Companies are small, and we need the training, the the enterprise training, to help the students. And sometimes in the small companies they don't have this culture, and we need a, a, that the companies have this culture, and they must know that the, the student is a student, is not a worker. And the teacher also, because we have teachers that uh, are uh, training in a traditional way and they must uh, change the, the, the way to train the students. Until last year, we uh, had to choose the students to send to the companies because the law was different. From this last school year, uh, all the students have to go to company to have uh, their period of uh, traineeship. But the big challenge is to find a, 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 a number of firms, companies, chambers of commerce, third sector who will be available to have the students with them and to train the students. So they will probably be like the employees with the only difference that the students will not have a, a contract, basically an apprenticeship contract. They will, be just doing, they will be just doing some learning experience outside school, but the big challenge is to match the demand and the offer between number of students and posts offered by external partners. People don't know what is the effective potential of uh, uh, the market uh, marketplace. I think that, uh, for example, in, uh, in, this, in nowadays, uh, nowadays many companies are looking for technician, but there are not enough technician, not, not students uh, who are studying this kind of uh, school. EU jewels, more competitive enterprises, more effective professional schools and more competent and satisfied young people.